To begin our painting, we're going to need our water and a brush and our watercolor paint set and a paper towel. We're going to begin with the primary colors. We're going to start with red. So dip your brush in the water and add that water onto the paint. Notice I'm using um, some extra water and really um, brushing my brush around on the surface of the paint to get it saturated with water. So then the paint will be ready. Okay, you're going to take your um, red paint and make a big red circle um, on the side of your page. Okay, the next primary color we're going to use is yellow. So again, get your brush nice and wet and um, kind of prime that paint area. So get a lot of water on it and kind of um, brush the brush around to get the paint. Okay, now we're going to use the last primary color, which you guessed it is blue. We're going to put our blue over um, on the opposite corner. So we're kind of like making a triangle with the primary colors. And again, we're going to get that blue paint nice and ready and start painting a nice big circle there on the right side. All right, now we're going to start adding the secondary colors to our color wheel. So I am starting with purple, and I'm going to put the purple in between the two colors that you mix to make purple. So you mix red and blue together to make purple. So that's where we're putting the purple, right in between the red and the blue. Make your colors connect to each other. So you can go ahead and kind of blend them together a little bit too. Okay, the next color we're gonna put in between red and yellow. So that would be orange. So that's the secondary color that's going to go between red and yellow because we mix red and yellow to make orange. So I'm going to make a nice big um, circle of orange here and make sure that it connects to the red circle and the yellow circle. Okay, now the last um, secondary color that we're going to make is green and it is going to go in our space. And again, make sure that your colors um, touch the colors next to them. So make the green connect to the yellow and connect to the blue. You can kind of blend them together. After our paintings have dried, the next step we're going to do is use oil pastels to add some lines onto our color wheel. So you can use colors that are kind of close to the colors that you're drawing on. Um, for example, on the purple, I'm adding pink because also it will contrast a little and we'll be able to see it. Contrast means that um, it's different from the thing next to it. So. The red that I have is darker than the red of my painting, so it will show up on top of the um, red paint. And then I can add another reddish, orangish color over my orange, and so on and so forth. So just pick a color that's kind of close to the paint below it, but a color that will show up too, so it will contrast a little or be a little bit different. Okay, once we have our paper set aside, we're going to start on a um, big circle drawing on a yellow piece of paper. So I'm using an orange oil pastel and a yellow orange oil pastel. And I'm kind of making the orange go around the outside of the circle and then the yellow orange be a little bit more in the middle of the circle. As you can see, I'm using my finger to kind of blend the two colors together. What we're making is the face of the lion. The colorful painting part will be the mane of the lion, and this will be the face. 
So go ahead and make a circle all the way around your paper, almost all the way to the edge with um, orange on the outside and then lighter orange on the inside. And I'm even adding a little bit of white as well. And then just use your finger to blend those colors together, make it nice and smooth looking. All right, now we have a strip of paper that we're going to make into our lion's snout, like the long part of his nose. So I'm adding some texture with little lines onto this piece of paper with white oil pastel, but you can choose which color you want. And then we're going to glue it down. And I think I actually want to add a little more color to my lion's snout also, so I'm going to add some yellow lines too. I'm also going to glue down a little black triangular piece of paper for the lion's nose. I'll glue that at the bottom of the snout. Okay, now let's use some oil pastels to give our lion some ears. I'm choosing black, but you can choose another color if you want. We're going to just draw a little rounded shape here and color it in on the top left and on the top right. Now let's give him some eyes with a rounded line and then a dot, rounded line and a dot and a mouth. Now I'm making my lion smiley, but if you want to make it look more serious, you can do that. Or growling with some sharp teeth, you can do that too. A few dots for his whiskers, and we're ready. Now let's cut our lion out, and we'll glue him down on the beautiful, colorful color wheel mane we made. Now we are all done. Our lions look amazing. Great work.